Okay, so we are here at the Sonoma Marin Fair Grounds. And it's certainly been changing over the years and will continue to. And you can see that the events they have here, the schedule, 4 p.m. Barbecue, 5.30 raffle, 6, Henry 1, the helicopter. But wait, there's more. Don't forget the thank you from our sponsors, including Target, Clover, Milk, uh, more than milk, but yes, Scent Hounds, Woof Woof, Battery Plus, Petaluma Policing Foundation, Petaluma Firefighters Foundation, and of course, the Petaluma's finest, the police department. And here is their awesome engine number 9381. And this is where it all starts right here. Ready? Are you ready, ladies? Okay. Oh, you wanna try it? Come on over. You see the cord there? Give it a pull. Yeah, we gotta go. Oh, there you got it. Good job. Okay, you want to be a fireman too? Okay, maybe Pa will help you. Are you ready? One, two, three. Ha ha! You are qualified. You too will be a fireman someday. Okay, see you later, guys. It's time to clear for takeoff. <laughs> That's so nice that they're out here. Hoo hoo! They are going for a ride. They okay, here is the probably the fire chiefs, would you think? Their unit, gorgeous. Battalion number nine. Pedal in the fire department. They have a booth over there. Yep, this must be where you get your free food. Am I here? And there it is. Yum yum. They got the hot dogs going here. A lot of takers too. There we have. Our Harley Davisons. I don't think they're Kawasaki's here, but um, look at those beautiful motorcycles. That would be a blast, wouldn't it, to be able to be protecting and serving on one of these? Although, I know they got a lot of stuff to keep track of here, don't they? <laughs> Very cool. You know, I, I wouldn't want to have to get that off the ground if it um, fell over. I'd say that's over 600 pounds, wouldn't you? And I guess they've got some drums here on display. Here's our police chief. I won't bother him right now. Brian Miller. And here's one of their pups. Hi. Hi how are you? Good. May I approach? Yeah. Hello there. Mm-hmm. Good. You want to smell me? Oh yeah, I love German Shepherds. GS, are you a GST? You sure are. Uh -huh. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. How are you? Oh, well, doesn't get any better than this. It's so Good nice you day. all can be. Wow, I don't think I've seen this one before. Yeah. Do you ever get a chance that's to our, go in it? Yeah, that's our uh, rescue vehicle. Probably like an MRAP. So we you know, use it on like flooding. I was gonna say, I, I knew that you had some extra things to get. Um, to address the river? I mean, I, you yeah. wouldn't think the police department has to be responsible for the river, yeah. but hey, if that's the need, I guess yeah. that's what you have to use. We used it, I think, a couple of years ago, like on Stony Point during the winter when it was all Oh flooded. yeah, when we had the floods over yeah, there. Yeah, there was a lady stranded out there, so yeah. that thing uh -huh. its way out. We use it, uh, like our, it's an armored vehicle, so we use it on our SWAT team. Thank you for your service, sir. Thank See you a little later. And there it is. <laughs> Look at the size of the wheels on that. It's almost as big as I am. <laughs> well, I was going to say, you could probably be in six or eight feet of water here and still have no problem at all. Oh, that is cool. We got microwave communications here. Okay. This is their mobile van. I guess it is open, too. Should we dare go in? Why not? Wow, look at that. Is that not good or what? Hi! May we come on in? You want to give us a little tour? So this is the command bus. Tell us about it, yes. So this is where we take it out on special events like this. Like then, this, yes. Like this, and uh -huh. then we'll also cut, take it out for if we have like a swamp call out, right. hostage negotiation type of situation, we'll take this out. This is our command post where we do or like try to figure out like what's going on, figure out the tactics. When we've had the fires, hasn't this been It can out come out sometimes in, too yeah, when we're doing sometime. um, yeah. things along those lines. 
So, mm -hmm. and then this is like our dispatch area, so our dispatchers. Yeah, I tell. I'm always here. interested about dispatch oh. units. So, are you a dispatch? I am a dispatcher. Congratulations <laughs> and thank you for your service. I'm Michael, and you are. I'm Marcy. Nice Marcy, you're all oh, wonderful. So, <laughs> is there more? Th there's two stations yeah, we here. Yeah, two stations set up for here. Um, usually, it's a we are tactical dispatchers that will be out here if it's a. Swap call out of some sort, so I'm one of them. Uh, there's about four of us on our team, along with our supervisor. And so we'll be in here. Sometimes our other dispatchers, if we're not available, they'll come out as well. So it's, we all kind of take care of it. So um, do you all have the same frequencies, or do they have multiple frequencies? Same frequency. So we have two okay. channels that we use, and then our officers have like a separate one if they need to do something okay. off. And do you have more than one cellular channel to get to the landlines? Uh, for here, we have our landlines, but okay. otherwise we're going to be using our cell phones to call us. Oh, and, need but to. why not? I guess. But why, <laughs> all, why all the monitors? So I guess your ones, database that yeah, I guess so accesses? This is our computer screen, so like when we're typing, we'll have that. So we have two stations here where we have our CAD workstation, okay. and then we'll have one. So for system. data entry? Yes. Will you have somebody still at the main office, or is they all come uh, out There's here? always somebody at our main place, okay. but this is what we'll use when we're out and about and then uh, these ca uh show our cameras so we have cameras up on top oh so why wow that is so cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that's what those monitors are for Man. Yeah, we, you'll see it in the back too. You'll see so it seems like you've got everything but if you had something else you wanted what would it be Ooh. as far as like what we need i no no let's have fun i mean what you would like i love a bathroom here <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me there, and now we're I speaking. Think about it, Being right? a fellow RVer, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> you know, in um, planes, I don't know how to say this, but you know, when a person's up, say, 10,000 feet or more in a small plane, yeah. there's no bathrooms. And so sometimes they have to improvise with, they call it range extenders, so we won't get into that. But yeah, I mean, it's something like, okay, guys, uh, when will we be stopping you? Because you have to plan how much you hydrate yourself, don't you? Yeah, exactly. You have to yeah. plan for those. Well, things. thank you for sharing that. So <laughs> okay, good, I will. Time. Thank you. Look at this. Isn't this great here? They've got everything except restrooms here. Okay, oh, and then there's another spot here. Um, and so they can go ahead and, you know, have information they share. Avoid the 13. Sonoma County DUI Task Force. Mobile Command Vehicle. Um, is this a play, place to play cards? No, I don't think that was what it's intended for, but um, you can see you got a lot more whiteboards here. And there's, um, you can see one of the channels where you can see what's going on outside. Uh, nicely air conditioned, flashlights always ready to go. I'd say they're pretty much good to go. A lot of foods over here on this side. I'll go ahead and continue on and see what else we're getting. We shelter, we save, we serve. North Bay Animal Services, and uh-oh, this is going to be so hard. Here we go. Look at the puppies. Yes. There's the little cat. There's me. Okay, hold on. So nice. They're doing a good job to take care of them. This person looks familiar. Hi, Mia. How are you? Good. Good. Malachi is quite in awe. He said, ah, the sun's in my eyes. Oh, yeah. Petaluma Public Works and Utilities, another very important part of our town. And they are representing us well here. And next to them, American Red Cross Disaster Relief. And when you need them, they're there. And we do need them from time to time. So what else do we have down here? Con Kona Ice. Beautiful colors on this van. And I've got a feeling tropical shaved. Oh boy. Oh, I ended up with a strawberry and blueberry. And Grace, what do you have here? A pina colada, mango, strawberry, and lime. Yum, yum. And? Blue raspberry, strawberry, and pina colada. Oh, a triple. Wow. Okay, and down, last but not least, Santa Rosa Junior College students ride free. Well, what about the rest of us? Well, I think we get to ride free now, too. I believe this is the first one in the Bay Area that said several months ago, um, we're going to let people ride for free. 
And here you can see some of the main routes in town. Bit of a transit. Should we go aboard? Hi, can we come in with you? Here we go, all aboard. Okay, that's where the driver sits right here. And um, they got some nice handicap spots uh, for people who have wheelchairs where they can pop them up. Very comfortable back here. How about in the back? Let's take a look at it. Pretty good size. Hello, come on back. You find yourself a good seat. Hello, Mademoiselle. Are you the driver? <laughs> they have a shield, yes, for those of us who get too rowdy. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Ambre. <laughs> oh, yeah. Petaluma City Services, I guess. Waterworks and the rest. Lots of machinery here. That one looks like it could have quite a bit of pressure. Filter vessel number uno. You love machinery, you'd have a good time here. Hello, gentlemen. And this is the singularly most important exhibit in van and people of the whole exhibit, aren't you? <laughs> but of course, yes, because communications is where it all starts and ends. So tell us about your gear over here. I'm quite curious. When I'm not with Saturn, right? This is also Saturn. Yes. Um, this is also ACS. ACS. This is auxiliary Communication Services. Yeah, through County of Sonoma. We have we already have the gear is already in all the locations where Good. we need to go. Um, I'm, I, am I just seeing some little dipoles? Just, little, yeah. just dipoles up just here. Little simple antennas up to them. Okay. Through, through the trailer here, this trailer can be used for a lot of different things. So two meter on its FM, I'm sure, and so what's that, over 100 megahertz? That's like one, the repeater here up on the hill was 144. 144, okay. Yeah. Well, good to talk to you. Hope to see you again soon. Have a good one. Henry One is making the landing. There's going to be dust coming our way in just a moment. What an awesome landing. So we have Henry One, the Sonoma County helicopter. And look at it snowing everywhere. Oh, I can't see. Here's our Sonoma County Sheriff's Office. And there is Henry One. That must be quite the lens that we have there on that camera underneath. That's very cool. You see that, Jack? No, don't reach in. Kind of close quarters in there, but that would be the place to be, wouldn't it? Look there. Hospital report. They got two more seats. Wow. Oh, the rotors. That is a marvel of engineering. And saves a lot of lives, I'm sure. Oh, there we go. Look at this. That's quite a light, isn't it? <laughs> That's a flashlight. Look how big it is. It's huge. They can be way up in the sky and they can shine it down so that if anybody needs help, they can hear you are. Stay there. We'll be there to rescue you in just a minute so they can see at nighttime. Oh, yeah. This can move all around. This whole thing goes zzz, zzz, up and down. Yes. Wouldn't you like to have a flashlight that big sometimes? I'll bet. And this is where all good things start and end because here we have meals on wheels and so much more. And I am Michael from Petaluma Community Access, and I think we've met before. I'm Isabel. Isabel, yes, I have. I'm Eve. Oh, yes, definitely, both of you. How are you, ladies? I'm doing very well. So tell us about yourself. We're Petaluma People Services. Yes, you are. Yes. I saw Elise just um, came by and blessed us, so... Yeah, we have the safety van here. The I, I don't know anything about the van. Tell me about it. Um, the safety team is... Oh, I'm safe. They go out in place of police officers.
officers for non-life-threatening emergencies and they free up time for our police officers yes. and fire department. So it's a really amazing program. Can I take a look at your van here? Hi. And there it is. Yeah. It's nice they can take people back to their facilities or wherever they need to be placed.